Rainbow Covenant Faith. What is Rainbow Covenant Faith? Okay. Rainbow Covenant Faith is the Torah of God. It is the teaching of God Almighty is Rainbow Covenant Faith. This sort of, sort of stuff. It's the teaching of God Almighty is Rainbow Covenant Faith. It's um, God the Creator. Yahweh, as Catholics call him, and probably some Jews. Jehovah, as some call him. Um, Adonai Elohim, the Lord God Almighty. It's faith in God, and it's faith in His Torah. In Torah. And the teaching of God in the Bible. Now, we don't use the Christian Bible. We use the Hebrew Bible, or the Jewish Bible, or the what Christianity calls the Old Testament. So it's, uh, it's well, it's Judaism, isn't it? No, not technically. We're Rainbow Covenant faith, so we're not under the Mount Sinai Covenant where the Ten Commandments were given, or Moses and the Ten Commandments and all that stuff. Now that's the Jewish religion for the land of Israel in the Middle East. That's uh, Judaism. That's the covenant which is later on in Exodus. Um, through, this, through Abraham, who was the father of Isaac and the father of Jacob, who was renamed Israel. And then Israel populated and became a nation. And the people of Israel from the generation of Moses onwards, after they'd come out of slavery in Egypt, they entered into a, a, the Mount Sinai covenant. Now that's for that people. The rest of mankind, if we go back, we descend from Noah after the flood. Noah built the ark and brought all the animals on it, and uh, creationists and evolutionists like to argue that out. But generally, if, if you're of the faith, you, you tend to agree with the creationists in the end, that, you know, okay, it's true enough. This is what we, we believe. So a rainbow covenant person thinks when they see the rainbow in the sky, when it's in the clouds and you see rainbow on a, on a rainy day, all right, that's the covenant which God made with Noah and mankind to not send another flood, I suppose. So basically we hold that God's not going to flood the world again, and that's the that's the covenant, and it's a promise to God, and it's a universal covenant to all the, the animals and to the planet and to mankind in general. So that's the covenant faith, the rainbow covenant faith. Now, going with that, there's some morality concerns. We have some morality concerns with the Rainbow Covenant faith. Essentially, the Hebrew Bible from Genesis, the first book from chapter 1 of Genesis to chapter 10 of Genesis, and chapter 11, the first section, the Tower of Babel section. So from creation to Babel. That's called the Rainbow Torah, and that's from um, Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, uh, Enoch, uh, Methuselah, Lamech and Noah, the, the, the Desiarchs, the ten patriarchs from Adam to Noah. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Cain and Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah. Ten generations. And then we have Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And then the tribal nations which come from Noah's sons. The tribal sons of Noah, who become, were, were, which are nations, the table of nations in Genesis chapter 10. The Hamathites and the Sinites and so forth, you know, they're, they're, they're the name of a person, but it's basically a tribe, and uh, they're tribes. So uh, they're the tribal nations of Noah, the Noahide tribes. And of the Tower of Babel, there are, there are at least some of the tribal nations gathered, so that's relevant as well. So that's that's the universal scripture. Genesis 1, 1 to 11, 9, the Rainbow Torah, that's the Rainbow Covenant faith. In chapter 12 of Genesis, we go into Abraham and Abraham's covenant. First of all, it's called Abram, but God renames him Abraham. And he has a twin covenant of land and circumcision. But that doesn't apply to mankind. And nowhere in the rest of the Hebrew Bible is it commanded to mankind to actually observe. That's for the people of Israel in the Middle East, in the land of Israel. The rest of mankind, we're under Rainbow Covenant faith. So the terms of our devotion is Genesis 1-1 to Genesis chapter 11, verse 9, from creation to Babel. Now, uh, as far as we're concerned, Jesus was not the Messiah, 
and he wasn't the son of God. So Christianity, in the end, ultimately, ultimately idolatry, wrong religion. The, the seven law of Noah keepers, the Talmud worshippers, nah, not quite, that's not historical, that's not really what the Rainbow Torah is teaching. Cutting the head off for violating the seven laws is just a little bit funky to us. Now that's what they think is right, but nah, we're not buying it. We're car right with Bible only. So it's just the biblical approach to Rainbow Covenant faith. Now, why should you observe it? Well, okay, what you do with your life is up to you. But as far as we teach in Kara and our community faith, if you really want to get it right with God, you probably should read that section of scripture and observe it and obey what God teaches of moral rules for mankind. If you're really concerned ultimately with the Creator and what you're supposed to be about in this life, He's giving you some answers there and says this is the morality concern this is what we teach as Garanoites you should be about. Rainbow Covenant Faith.